Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two and Instagram. This isn't going to be a long video, but I wanted to make this video due to the fact that I've been living under a rock. Period. So, one of the greatest superheroes on Earth, not this costume, but the classic Spider Man, wanted me to come through time and tell you guys something that you should all know. Because I've been living under a rock, and apparently, October has a lot of things going on. There's Halloween. Check. There's Halloween. Check. There's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Check. And most importantly, the one thing that I just found out about, like today, apparently October is also Bully Prevention Month. So I'm going to take the next five minutes to promote an anti-bullying commercial for you. Just so did you know, in case there are any kids watching, even superheroes have been bullied at least once or twice in their life, which actually changes the outcome of what kind of hero they're going to become. So, in The Adventures of Spider-Man, the original Peter Parker, mm -hmm. Peter Parker started off as a scrawny, scrawny, nerdy little guy who played around with chemicals and science. So, he was bullied by Flash Thompson. Until one day, the hands of fate decided that Spider-Man would be created. Peter Parker went to a science museum that practiced in radiation. And unfortunately for him, or fortunately for him, a spider came along and bit him, endowing him with superhuman strength, the ability to stick to walls, and speed, reflexes, healing factor, and a lot of other stuff, like the ability to leap real high when he's in danger. So, the only good thing that came out of being bullying is the hands of fate causing him to get bit by a radioactive spider. Sadly, in the real world, that doesn't happen. Generally, if you get bit by a spider, it's probably going to be pretty bad. And the radioactive spiders, if they exist, it'll probably still be pretty bad. Which, more than likely, we'd wind up with that man spider thing running around instead of actual Spider-Man. And also, with great power comes great responsibility. Now, the shame that Peter shared, he didn't tell anybody because he was ashamed that he was being bullied. Which is ironic that the guy who bullied him would become his biggest fan when he was Spider-Man. So, my note to all of you out there is please, don't be a bully. Please, if you see someone being bullied, step up. I'm not saying you gotta hit them with your web shooters. I'm definitely not saying you have to punch them in the face. Uh, okay, maybe you might have to punch them in the face. I'm sorry, Frank Castle told me to tell you guys that. But anyway, the bottom line is, this is Bully mm -hmm. Prevention Month. And everyone out there should do their best and their part to prevent bullying from happening. Understand that bullying is bad. Mm -hmm. Don't bully people. Don't become mm -hmm. the bad guy. Thanks for watching. It's been fun.